Leo, what is going on? Hello, babies. Put your paws up top for me. I cannot believe we are in January, y'all. Can y'all believe that? What's going on? This is going to be your 2024, your January 2024 reading for the month of January. This is insane, y'all. Is time going faster or is it just me? Hmm? All right, guys, we're going to start it out with the charm board. I got a lot of stuff planned for you. We're going to take a look at what you need to surrender for the month, your spiritual journey, some of your lessons along the way, um, any great positive messages we have, stuff you might need to work on. I have your main archetype for the month and all that great stuff. Okay, so we're going to dive right in. We're going to take a look at money, love and career like we always do with every reading. But I'm going to start out with these charms. I want to say thank you to every Everybody who supported me in 2023 and is still here in 2024 rocking it with me. I really love you guys. I do. Thank you so much for being who you are. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this reading. I know I look beat up, right? It's working from home today. That's why. Okay, we got the charms. And I have plenty of them today. So let's see. This should go here, here. Okay. I'm seeing that I'm not showing much with work in 2024. Your main areas are going to be friendship, travel, home, finances, and yourself. Okay, I want to quickly say before I really get started here, guys, um, please, if it resonates for you, smash the thumbs up the like button for your girl. Don't forget to subscribe. Come on back and see me. Okay, join the tribe. Keep them paws up. Okay, so let's look at the self. Some of y'all have been seesawing up and down. We have a little carousel horsey here, uh, up and down on diets, yo-yoing, things like that, um, quite possibly going back and forth with that issue. And I feel like this is something that you're addressing since we have uh, the 222 two, two here, okay? Um, the 222 two, two talks about making decisions. So I feel like some of you and, and stability too, but I, I feel like you're getting more grounded in your health in January and making that a priority for you and getting off the merry-go-round or the roller coaster because that's really what that is, right? And uh, making a major decision. Now, some of you actually see some type of cosmetic surgery, uh, but I mostly see it, what you want to do is overall improve your health and get out of being stuck when it comes to your health. Uh, and your fitness goals and um, what was the word that I was going to use? Now I can't remember. All right, it might come back to me. But anyway, I feel like you're you're getting unstuck when it comes to your health and fitness goals and going for it. Now I have a lot in finances, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, some of you are. Let's see here. What is that? Ooh, beware of people being tricky about your money, either when it comes to investing it or like looking for your money. Okay. Like uh, somebody wants to get with you, but their intention is kind of like, mm, what do they got? You know, what do you got for me? I see some finances improving for many of you with the sun. It's looking good in January. As far as I'm concerned, that's improvement with the uh, moon, though some of you are still in fear of what your financial situation is going to look like. And I have the cage bird. So I feel like you're still a little strapped, many of you. Okay. So I have some people showing some improvement, but others I'm showing a lot of concern about money. That's kind of outweighing the good parts that I'm seeing here. Okay. So in January, for a lot of you, there's still going to be some financial concerns. Now I have the heart. I have the the horseshoe, which is good luck. And I have the 2023. So I feel like some of you may um, have started something with your house in 2023 that's going to be finalized or completed in January of 2024. Um, I'm seeing like uh, something with water in your house. I don't know if it's like... Um, your sinks, like your drains and stuff or something being replaced. I feel like there's something being replaced there. Or there's something that's like you're having um, trouble with the water or the drains. Now I will say this, that I know the correlation between that and like 
money spirit spiritually is that when there are backups leaks all kinds of things like that that actually means that money is kind of leaving the building right so you want to get that fixed um i do feel like there's a sale somebody's house is selling or there's like a purchase that's going through in 2023 when it comes to a sale or a buy okay lots of good luck around the house uh, I'm even seeing the addition of a new animal for some of you. Now travel, I have the angel with the heart. So I'm seeing some of you traveling in July. And I think for like special reasons, it gives like special reasons for travel. So um, some of you may not have planned it, but you're doing it to like surprise somebody or somebody's coming to surprise you with the friendship. <laughs> oh my God, Sachi, I cannot... <laughs> this cat, I swear. The second lady's like up and moving about, she's just trying to jump on her. Like, what is wrong with this cat? Anyway, um, I have this weird butterfly skull dagger thing with the friendship. So again, I'm getting a conversation maybe with a friend that you were have not really been on good terms with this person wants to change the way your relationship is right now okay that's what i'm getting the strongest here so let me get these i'm gonna flip it we're gonna do a yes or no question guys that's on the other side of my thingamabobber here I'm going to use the sun since we in that Leo energy. So do whatever you need to do. Put your hand on your heart. Close your eyes. Do the thing. I'm about to drop it. Put your yes or no question in your mind right now. Three, two, one. It says unclear. Right now it's unclear and the sun is flipped over. So it's kind of like something might need to change here in order for that thing to be a yes or no. All right, boo. All right, my little boo things. <laughs> January 2024, what does it hold for you? All right, I'm just gonna bring my little trick basket over here. Gonna bring my little basket of joy. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on here. Okay. All right. I like to mostly shuffle these in front of you guys. Sometimes I don't like picking them all out. Let's see. There we go, Leo. Your energy oracle is sixth chakra archangel Metatron. Okay, so let me read it real quick. This, I believe this one is a deeper connection with spiritual matters. Hold on. Miss the. Okay, yes, clarity of thought, personal visions. This very powerful archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra, your third eye which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. So some of your um, intuition is going to heighten in the month of January. Also, you'll be thinking a lot clearer. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thoughts and processes and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's been going on in your life and why. So you may find out what is going on and why is this happening, okay? Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Well, this is perfect that you guys are getting this card because you are going to develop the clarity as you think about what you wanna do for the next year. I don't have resolutions as much as I have goals personally. But it says, create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you right meow. All right, Leo, let's see. It's the energy we're working with. Acceptance and honesty. Y'all, some of y'all need to have honest conversations with yourself or with others and then accept Okay, except honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So be honest with yourself. Honesty is uh, something that and I feel like you're asking people to be honest with you. 
right? Because you're making decisions about a lot of different stuff in the month of January is what I really feel, Leo. So you want and desire honesty. But the thing is, is that when we are not honest with ourselves, we run into dishonest people because they're a reminder that that's where we got to do some work. All right. Now, acceptance says I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Guess what's what's one thing that you can't change? Other people. That's why you got to focus on yourself, right? Okay. I'm only slightly hyped today, guys. Only slightly hyped. I can't figure out why it's so hot in here. All right. What's coming Leo's way in January? Please, when in January. What's coming Leo's way? Thank you. A time to give rather than to take. Heart chakra opening up. New moon in Virgo. Some of you are going to be really... Um, in a very emotional period, I feel like your heart chakra is going to be opening up and you're going to be more in that giving space in the month of January. Okay. Um, and not to say that you're takers, but it's a time to give. And a lot of times when you're in the space of giving, like you find clarity, you find purpose, you find joy, you can kind of melt away a lot of different things in your life when you're in the service of not being so inside of your own feelings and your own body. And you're just giving to other people and bringing joy to their lives. Okay, let's see. I feel like somebody could really be giving to you as well, Leo, the message is reversed as well. Let's see about self care watching movies you might be doing a lot of that maybe you're stroking a little kitty since she has her kitty there it could be drinking some teas spending some time doing things that you really enjoy but mainly watching movies let's see what else we also have planning a vacation or a trip and remember i talked about that briefly because it showed up on the charm board so some of you will be taking a flight out and i feel like some of you are doing it just for like a special reason it's like from your heart to like surprise somebody or i don't know some something like this something like this let's talk about your spiritual journey i've already talked about it a little bit but what else what's leo's breakthrough Let's see, Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher. Some of you are going to be studying with people is what I get. I don't get that like, you know, I don't know. I get more of you studying with people. Um, you might realize that you are wanting to be deeper into, let's say, the occult, mystical arts, things like that. So you could be doing stuff like tarot or just diving a little deeper spiritually. But I feel like there are many of you that are teachers that haven't really stepped into the role of being a teacher as of yet, but it's coming, okay? I've, I've kind of see that. And I feel like there's a teacher coming for you. So if there's something that you've been wanting to learn, I feel like you will learn that thing and the teacher is is um, getting ready to show up for you. I do feel a strong like beautifying aspect for you. Like many of you are um, uh, like doing things to make yourself feel more masculine or more feminine. You might be getting some new clothing. I see specifically new clothing. And even like I'm getting smells, okay? All right, what else for Leo? Give me three or four cards, yeah. I'm gonna jump into tarot in just a second. Okay, there's a conclusion that's coming in for you here with the checkered flag. This is the end of something. You're finishing uh, maybe a long standing period of feeling very stuck or um, like, uh, like stagnant for some of you. I, I also feel relief, like you could be ending something in your life and there's a deep relief that comes along with that. And this is like the nine of wands. I feel like you've kind of, you've been hustling and hustling and going through the whole year without, you know, really slowing up any. 
So I feel like this checkered flag also talks about like a completion and a relaxation period here. This also indicates some sort of verdict in a trial. We have the grapes. So a lot of uh, fertility here. Some of your fertile myrtles up in January. Okay. But this is good. This is seeing the fruits of your labor. This is also having abundance and harvesting things. And I literally see people like pulling food off of like trees and plants. Um, I see some sort of partnership here. It's uh, two of pentacles energy type of thing. But this uh, talks about equality, having a very balanced relationship with somebody, maybe meeting a partner here in January. And I know it's come up a couple of times, Leo, that there's somebody really special coming into your life. Either you've already met them or it's happening very soon. And this is the tandem bike. Look at y'all just having fun together. I feel like there's a lot of joy and a lot of like synchronicity with this person, a lot of like unison togetherness. We have the diamond. This is amazing. This is deep, deep spiritual power. It's also kind of like it's a one with the Aries sign. So it reminds me of like the uh, ace of wands here. Um, this is about really starting something and really shining and using um, like using that about you. I feel like you're really magnetic and very like attractive in January. There's like a magnetism to you and it's really bright and it's really freaking shiny and people can see now you've gone through the period where you were just like the raw stone and I definitely feel like you're the polished diamond right now. All right, Leo, you 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 came out of your villain era and now you're like I'm in my Marilyn Monroe era. Hello. <laughs> All right. Yes. The two of freaking cups, the soulmates. So we have this two on the tandem bike and then we have the flamingos. So there's definitely like a really yummy love going on here. We also have the dynamite. So uh, it's going to be hot, sexy, passionate. Um, it's really unexpected because that's what this card is. It's just explosive. There's a lot of action happening here. I feel like you're just having a really amazing time with somebody. You're your long-term dating potential here, a beautiful union. There's a lot of hot, spicy attraction. Um, things are also moving very rapidly. So expect a very like short, hot, hot, fiery month. Okay. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> hot, fiery month. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's uh, jump into the tarot. And you know, I feel like using, actually, I have one or two other cards. I'm gonna hold them. I'm, a, I'm gonna hold them for, for later. But this is the Ask Yourself Tarot from uh, the Love Messages, Monica Louvre from the Love Messages. Let's see what we got in the way of money because we had a little... Some people doing all right. The majority of some of y'all trying to come up again and others of you doing okay. Let's see. Let's look at overall. Give me an overall energy, please, for Leo in January. There it is. Nine of Wands. Okay. So this nine of wands is saying that there's something that you want to achieve that you're not giving up on and this is carrying over into January. And we kind of already talked about that, um, that there's an energy of starting something and um, what what are you ready to create in January and not give up on? Some of you are struggling to keep some things afloat. And I kind of always feel like when a message like that comes out, it's to not give up, you know? Let's talk money. Show me money. Give me three cards for January. Money. Show me money situation for Leo, please. There it is. Ew. Okay, something's not clear here. You have the Ace of Swords in reverse. There's something that you're not wanting to see or look at. Show me money, please. Money, 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 money. Hey. Show me money for Leo. There it is. Okay, page of wands. 
Okay, page of cups. So what this is giving me guys is that some of you are just yeah, eight of swords, you're in your head about your financial situation and not really clear about how you want to go about handling this stuff, you know, that something needs to change or go in a new direction with the page of wands. Um, and many of you are like, okay, what's the new opportunity here with the page of cups that I can find that will help me? You're just not clear about what that looks like. Does it look like a side hustle? Does it look like you change something in your business? Does it look like you switch out your job? So I think there's a lot more questions than maybe answers about your money and your financial situation in the month of uh I almost said June. I don't know why June's coming up, but something around June. If I say it, it's for a reason. Let me grab some cards to clarify. Hold on, guys. Big body girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, where do I have them? Uh, you know, I feel like some unicorns today. I, I feel like unicorns today. Please, uh you know, excuse my appearance when on days when I work from home, y'all, I'm just really not in the mood to like dress up more time, you know, like I just don't feel like it. I just don't want to. All right. But y'all just rock with me. I know you're like, you know, I say you messy, but we love you. <laughs> What's this ace of swords in reverse? I hope my mic is good because this green thing, I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. What's this ace of swords in reverse? Somebody was like, somebody commented is like, I see why you don't have a lot of um, subscribers. What's that supposed to mean? I, I almost answered and was like, I see why you have zero. Don't come test me. All right. They call me the odd stepper. I'm the lyrical gangster. Excuse me, Mr. Officer. <laughs> I'm the tarot gangster. All right. Can we? Well, y'all, thank you. Okay. Mm, two of cups, ten of swords. I feel like you, you guys just may not feel clear about your career or money uh the ten of swords it's like needing to stop doing something but it's something that you enjoy a lot it could probably save you money it's kind of like maybe a creature comfort maybe you're just constantly at starbucks or you're constantly eating out it's just something that feels like it's you don't want to give it up but you need to okay why the page of wands with the page of cups Okay, I do see after some time here, you're gonna do, you're gonna make a different move financially. Uh, you will get clear about what you need to do and you have the wheel of fortune. So there's something destined happening for you in the month of January that is going to help change your direction. It's like whether you see something on LinkedIn or you talk to somebody, have a conversation, something's cropping up here that's gonna change Um your your idea maybe or influence your idea or it's just a brand new there's like a a new clarity you get here and a chance meeting a lucky chance at something page of cups yeah you don't see it coming but um because you're very intelligent you have a, a an offer coming here okay there is an opportunity with the page of cups and then you have the high priestess so i feel like this for some of you is taking something uh you're very good at and developing something brand new with it okay it's just that i think some of you get unfocused and then you can't like you don't know how to bring it to life so i feel that there's someone who gives you a tip or helps and supports you there okay are there any bonuses are there any like money money coming what's what come on how's this going to turn out financially for january 
Okay, some of you are going from starting this month out in a tough way, five of pentacles um, to a 10 of pentacles. You, you just, I feel that many of you, there's just a habit you have, there's a thing that you do. And until you're ready to fully let go of that five of pentacles, you won't get to a 10 of pentacles. But I feel like you start this month a little fi feeling financially unstable, but you don't finish it that way, okay? Could be that you even um, accomplish something or get or um, seeing money from somebody that you know. All right. Okay. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about love. Those in a connection in January. How's this connection going to go in January? Oh, five of swords. Shit. We're starting out bad, guys. What the freak? All right. Show me for those in a relationship. Okay, I'm showing somebody who's just been complacent dealing with a relationship. Somebody is holding on to some sort of energy here. Um, Five of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. It's like someone might just be like, all right, whatever, you know, I'll deal with what I got to deal with, but it doesn't mean that you're happy. Okay, I do see some new things happening here. The month isn't starting out ideal with the Five of Swords. There's some sort of struggle. I feel like some of you could be bored in a connection that you're in. It's not like mentally stimulating you. However, um, I think you add a little spice to this. Ace of Wands, big wood energy. Okay, so... Um, there is a new beginning that's coming energetically in a relationship that you're in. All right. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. There's like, it seems like somebody has been aloof or things have been off. Maybe you guys have been bickering a little bit, but I also have the sun here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing things shifting around. So what doesn't Leo see coming with this? What doesn't Leo see coming? The hanged man. Um, this is something that maybe you need to see from a different perspective, not necessarily your person, okay? Maybe you just get to change your mind. If it's not you, it's your person. And what you don't see coming is, um, wait, what did I say your challenge? Or did I say what you don't see coming? Shit. Your challenge is the five of cups. I think it's the other way around, guys. Please correct me, okay? Because I, I can't remember. <laughs> That's ADD. Sorry. It is. I am legitimately diagnosed with ADD. Anyway, because I don't want people coming for me like, you're making fun of mental health. No, I'm fucking not. No, I'm not. I am mental, okay? I am. And unlike some people who get all touchy about it, I don't. People call me funny names all the time and I really don't care. I think it's absolutely hilarious because if I don't laugh, I will cry. All right. So uh, challenge, the five of cups, painful situation uh, that you're not seeing the positive in, okay? So some of you might be in a romantic situation, queen of swords, you, you know, this is taking you having to examine your own mind, your own way of thinking about something so you can figure out how to change it. Okay, my loves. So where worry? I'm so sorry. I had to grab a coaching call. We were talking about your love relationship and a shift of perspective here. Okay. Um, and the challenge is what you're not seeing in the connection right? So maybe holding on to those of you in relationships, somebody here holding on to um, old hurts, past energy is making assumptions about the other person, okay? Um, I think there may could be some long standing issues here, a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion with the seven of cups, um, wanting things a certain way, but things not really changing. And sometimes I just want to say this from like, you know, a human perspective and also a coaching perspective. Sometimes things don't change unless we change. And you guys have heard me say that a lot. Nothing changes if nothing changes, right? Okay, cool. So let's take a look at this five of swords. What's this argument? What the hell? 
What's going down? Okay. This could be over a move for some of you. We have Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. There's some communication, some type of argument happening. What's happening here, please? What's this communication about? Okay, Page of Wands. There could be some news. Something happened here. That's good news, but it may not feel like that to somebody else. What else, please? Okay, somebody could be taking a job or something at a distance. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands. Um, there could even be distance in this relationship, and that creates arguments between the two of you. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I don't know if somebody just needs a lot of attention or what, but we have the King of Cups here. So I'm seeing somebody trying to do their best to emotionally connect and support. However, I don't know if it's just not enough for somebody or what. Somebody, I, I feel like there's one person feeling like the person doing the action is being very selfish about that for some reason, or they're making somebody's making a decision that feels very selfish or self centered here, and the other person is very offended. Okay, so really, the um, the challenge is the hangman at seeing things from another perspective, and somebody is working on that or there's a need to work on that somebody wants the other person to see from their perspective okay <clears throat> what's the four of pentacles Yep, five of cups again, king of pentacles. This could be financial, it could be about the family, it could be about spending time, all right? So again, five of cups is still the thing that's being held on to with the four of pentacles. It's sadness. It's you know that 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 same like something that's something that somebody is not seeing. It's old hurts. It's you know, some it's something somebody it's real little to one person but not to the other or something here okay what's the ace of wands because this feels like by mid-month what's shifting here why is the ace of wands here okay <clears throat> Okay, this is going to move out this energy. We have the Six of Swords here. We have it with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords isn't always a bad card. It can talk about escaping out of something, getting what you needed and moving forward. So with the Six of Swords, I feel like, you know, you might be having a conversation here with the Ace of Wands. It talks about a new opportunity to start something again. There's a new beginning that's available here. However, there's a lot of hurt that needs to be dealt with or maybe lies or something. There's something that feels an energy that feels very selfish from someone here. But this is mainly about shifting perspective. Ace of Pentacles. Why is that here? The magician. While well, you're manifesting a new job, many of you, or money out of thin air. Now, there is, this is again, Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords goes back to what am I in my head about? Like, why am I stopping things because I'm in my head about whatever this is? For some of you, this isn't going to be romance. It applies in a different area of your life where you're in a conflict with yourself, your thoughts, are you doing something because you're doing it selfishly? It's not selfish to think of yourself and attempt to think of others when you're doing things. However, it can be a very fine line. So I think that there's an examination of that. Now, when we're talking relationships, somebody's having a really hard time with that and somebody gets stuck in their head here. There's a new there's a new want for a new beginning, a new start, clearing this all up, and yet somebody gets in their head. I think that that there's a realization that there's a sabotage, okay? Because listen, not every relationship is messed up by the other person. Sometimes it is us, right? Sometimes I'm the problem. <laughs> Sometimes I am the problem, folks. And it's good to admit that because once you once you have the awareness of what your problem is on repeat, then you could do something about it, right? Okay, talk to me about King of Pentacles. Let's 
temperance. There we go with the healing. Sagittarius energy. What else? The stability is going to come here. Things are going to shift. But I think there needs to be a realization of the more you dwell on something in a negative way, I think that's the biggest takeaway from this read, is the more energy you're giving to the negative thing, the more the negative thing just keeps happening. It's us that has to do the work of shifting the perspective of how we're experiencing something, unless something really bad is happening, okay? Okay, so we have the Empress. Some of you could find out that you're pregnant. Um, I feel like there's a, a big healing that's happening here for somebody. Uh, we have Libra and Taurus energy. And this really talks about getting back to the foundation, healing this, um, this thing. This is somebody wanting trust, giving trust, earning trust here. And the, the empress with the temperance, being patient, waiting for somebody to grow a little bit. We don't do that with people anymore. People are very committed a lot of times to just not seeing that, uh, if somebody wants it, they will do the changing, they will do the growing, right? But in this case, I feel that there's something here where it's like, I feel you're doing this selfishly. And this person is trying to say, listen, I'm not doing this selfishly. This decision I'm making is for us. It's for me too. And there will be good things that come of it. It's just somebody's stuck in their head about it because they feel some type of way. It it takes attention away from them and that makes them very uncomfortable, okay? And that's not about you. All right, tell me why we have the hangman as the challenge. <clears throat> The chariot is just getting off of this. It's it's cancer energy, seeing it from a different perspective. You could also be dealing with the Pisces and the hermit. There's a lot of majors here, okay? It's a big relationship. It's a big thing. It's a big lesson to learn that not everything we think is exactly as we think it is, right? If you care about a person, romantically, friendship, whatever that is, do they or do they not deserve a chance to have the opportunity to change. So the challenge is really doing the soul searching, looking within yourself or looking deeper into the situation and seeing it from another person's point of view, giving that giving that person a chance or a moment so y'all could move forward here, okay? Because I think the inability to stand in somebody's shoes for a second is what's the block here. All right, there, there, there can be a very successful relationship. There needs to be a conversation, King of Swords, and this can heal the relationship with the star card, Aquarius, Knight of Pentacles. It's gonna take time, but the things will happen, okay? For some of you, this has to do with a long-term relationship that somebody has made promises on that they have not kept. I can tell you that for sure. And you're like, okay, when's it going to happen? And they still can't give you a date. And then it puts them in their head. And then they start acting really selfishly and acting out and doing things. And so you're back and forth about whether or not you'd like to remain in this connection with this person because they can't seem to get it together. But from what I'm seeing here, there's an opportunity for a lesson and for growth here if you're willing to be patient and not push somebody to force them to do anything. Cause I can tell you, you know, uh, and often from experience, when you push people to change, they change briefly. People have to know that they need that, right? Okay. Is there any advice for Leo? Any advice for Leo? By the way, Lady Saucy Pants is doing good. I, I'm beginning to think she didn't have a stroke. She had a seizure really bad. I think she had a bad seizure. So um, I can't really tell. She couldn't lift her head uh, the first night. I thought she was going to leave. Like, I thought she was going to pass. But she seems to be getting better. She can actually meow now. So she's back to meowing at me. <laughs> she's back to meowing at me. But she couldn't meow for like three days, three, four days. All right. Any advice for Leo? Eight of Wands. 
have an important conversation. Okay. Have an important conversation. Anything else? Advice. Knight of Pentacles, be patient, remain determined, take your time. If you care about somebody, then give them the time and the space to change if it's not a terribly toxic relationship. All right, that's for those of you who are in a connection. Give this person time, hype them up, give them support, you know, express loving things to this person. I feel like this person's heard a lot of negative things through their life. And so they may call themselves names or self deprecate. They feel like they're not good enough. They feel challenged in this area. Okay. So they're really looking for you or feel free to reverse it, right? You're looking for them to access the the words of affirmation and the love and the support here, the long term, like stick with me through this. All right. So that's what I got there. Now, let me clear this up a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to take a look at what's coming in for the singles. Hi, singles. Hey, singles. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. All right, singles. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes I just do, I just go with the flow. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just go with the flow. Let's see. Get these all together. Oh, I can't put them that way, Ice. Ring a dang. Okay. Let's get it together for my lovely singles. What's coming towards single Leos? I've seen some serious love coming your way, Leo. I don't know if you guys have seen the Leo weekly reading that's on my other channel. My other channel is linked down below, by the way. You can look at your Moon Rising Venus or another Leo Um an alternative Leo reading over there, but there's somebody coming in hot and heavy, y'all like falling in love quick with y'all. Quick, with the quickness. That's what we used to say when I was kids, with the quickness. I don't, I guess we all thought that we were cool when we were kids. All right, what's coming towards single Leos, please? Can I have three cards? Who is coming towards single Leos? Damn, we have a Virgo. We have a Aries, the Emperor, the Hermit. What is coming towards single Leos? Quiet person. Quiet person, no stress. Somebody who likes to listen to you. Oh, Queen of Cups, let me tell you something. This person very emotionally connected, maybe even slightly feels, I'm not, I don't want to say feminine if he's a man, but I do want to say that this person can access um, compassion. Uh, they may have what feels more like a feminine energy, but make no mistake, this is the emperor. Okay. So this, this person has their crap together emotionally in a very good way here. Okay. Now, there could be something that they're hiding. We'll see that if that's it with the hermit, but this person is in an exploration phase of their life. Uh, 10 of wands, they, um, are the type of person who is not going to overwhelm you, all right? They're going to give you space. They're going to give you time. They're going to hear you. They're going to listen to you, emotionally connect with you, okay? So let me see. Let me just... Hi, Miss Lady Sassy Pants. Are you looking for attention? I heard you grunting down there. You looking for attention? Hmm? Huh? Okay, what's with this Queen of Cups? This is a very caring person. Yeah, Three of Cups. This could be a friend. You might meet them when you're out at a party or someone you already know. What else? Seven of Swords. They could have just left out of some type of relationship as well. Give me the Emperor. Oh, Knight of Cups. Damn. They coming in hot. Sexy. They're sexy. Um, if you want my body, here you think I'm sexy. 
this person definitely um, coming with a cup of love. They have the devil, though. Oh, shit. Are they a love addict? Oh, Lord. Hold on one second. Okay. This person could get really attached to you. The devil Capricorn energy. They could have that in their... Um, in their chart they could be a love addict this person could get really attached to you really super quick i don't see that they're like bad people or anything but they got a little red flaggy here what's the hermit are they hiding something with this hermit please oh all right what else Okay, this person is hoping you don't judge them. I feel like they're dealing with something deep in their life. I don't know. They could be like a codependent. They could be like a person who falls in love very easily, something like this, all right? And I feel like they're trying to gain control of whatever this thing is. Um, we have judgment. They're, I think they're hoping that you're not going to judge them because they feel ten of wands, a uh, magician they feel like this is a burden um and this is a burden they don't really want you to see they don't want you to see that quality about them that they're struggling with something like that codependency something okay they may have some drinking issues addiction issue uh it doesn't have to be addicted to something terrible it could be porn it could be video games it could be something there's something this person doesn't want you to really fully see although they they want to like maybe tell you about it they're trying to let you know that somehow they have control over this thing why the ten of wands they don't want you to judge them knight of wands uh-oh okay tell me more strength card okay so this what they want to do early on is establish that you can trust them by them divulging information to you okay so i feel like this person is open they're emotionally connected yada 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 things are maybe moving a little fast with this person six of cups ace of cups this person is going to fall again i'm getting the same thing a person somebody really falling for you um and I think you probably really like them too. We have a Leo here, but, um, you know, they want to put you at ease that you're not going to have a problem with them, but I'm going to find out if you won't have a problem with them. Is this person a problem? You just, you already know. You already know. Jeffrey and Storm, I need you guys to show me, is this person going to be a problem in the future? Is this person going to be any sort of problem for Leo in the future if Leo stays with them? If Leo dates this person, will there be any problems? Five of Pentacles, they may, um, they may, <coughs> excuse me, hold on. Give me one more card. Any problems? Yeah, there could be a separation here. This may last for a while, Leo. I'm not going to lie to you. We have the King of Swords. I think that somebody is going to want clarity on this we have the lovers it's tough because you guys have a lot of mutual energy between the two of you this could be a twin flame but um you're learning something from this connection here i see leo but i have the tower um scorpio energy here with the five of pentacles there's either somebody has financial issues or somebody is just abandoning this connection and making a decision about it i want to see why what what makes this breakup happen what leads to this breakup what happens here uh-oh okay give me one more please what leads to this breakup for leo some of you might have met this person already i don't know you know like if this is this could be not just singles but somebody you just met like you're just getting to know them now 
okay, queen of wands, there may be end up being another person that they're emotionally paying attention to, or they, they do some ghosting shit here with the four of swords. I want to say this, I feel like this person struggles with their confidence with themselves. Um, but I feel like if there's a separation, it's because I, I feel like, um, I feel like you, some of you may realize this is some sort of karmic connection. Um, it could be that you feel like you might be a little too good for this connection because this person has some sort of issue here makes sense. Um, so I definitely feel a situation in order to maybe allow this person to heal. Okay. I think that you have done your best to like, okay, I see the, I see your side. I can see your perspective here, but Leo, you might just be on a different path. Like maybe you're not willing to compromise anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't see this like really lasting. It seems like it's not a breakup for any terrible reason. It just seems like somebody's deciding here. There could be another individual that they're, you know, with the queen of wands that they're very interested in. Um, and this person goes ghost or you go ghost because I, I just think like something changes here. Your, your, um, the way you see them changes. Why is it change? Why is it changing? Why is the perspective shifting? What happened? I really want to know. <laughs> I'm like, give me some ace of cups. Ace of cups. This person may need a lot of healing or you literally meet somebody else. Okay. And for you, the fact that they're still quote, quote, fixing this person is working through, you're like, yeah, you know what? I can get the complete package. Okay. And I feel kind of like you get the complete package. Okay. Now I will say for some of you, I think you're going to stick this out. I think that there will be a separation, but I feel like because of that separation, it pushes this person more to get that work done. Um, I feel and and like boost their self-esteem something. There's something that feels unattractive here to you. Okay. There's something that feels unattractive. And I don't know if it's because this person is going through something and you're just in a space where you're like, I'm not, I don't want to do that. Or if there's something really wrong here. Okay. But it feels like you end up with some with somebody else. Okay, so this is temporary, but this is a really, really nice connection. There's just something up with this person right now. And I think if you don't know yet, you will find out. And this person will do their very best to make you feel confident that they are a loyal person. Um, it, it could even be that they like divulge that they cheated before or something like that. And that makes you like, whoa, pump the brakes. But they're like, I'm actually going to therapy for that or something, you know, but I feel like some of you are just like, you know, no, I just, I don't trust it. I'm going to move forward. Others of you, I feel like you might actually stick with this a little bit longer than you anticipate. And you're, you become a part kind of, of this person's healing journey. But after you sort of separate to like regroup and kind of think about this. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Now, let me get what you guys need to surrender in the month of January. What does Leo need to surrender? You know I'm going long, but I like to give to you guys. What does Leo need to surrender? Negative thinking, okay? We've talked about that um, throughout this reading. It says, you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So Leo, you get to ask yourself, are you the one going down the rabbit hole with some of this stuff? Are you willing to believe people and give them a chance or are you just a no? And it's okay if you're, if you're just a no. All right, let me get one more here. These are my new cards. I haven't been using them very much and I really want to right now. So let me get you one of these. This is the archetype, your archetype energy for the month, Leo. Your archetype energy for the month is, okay, I hear them say pick from the top, the feather, the feather. Let me see what the feather says. 
the feather. Oh, it's not. It's the father, not the feather. Okay. So this is about being supportive, strategic, kind, having uh, authority. All right. Now, this also when it's that's in the light attribute when it's in a dark attribute, I'll show you this card because it's two. It's two things here. It's disappearing, disappointing, devastated by failures. All right. So, you know, you guys can kind of gauge whether or not you want to be in the energy of taking authority and moving forward, or do you want to be in this energy of disappointing, feeling failure? Okay. So to me, really interesting duality here. This is about uh, the father as a pattern. Um, and it says, becoming a student of this masculine energy, watch the father in movies and Shakespeare plays. See the father as a pattern, not a personal thing. What is the pattern for you this month that you may be working through is the pattern of you know, disappearing, being disappointed or hurt by failures and stuff like that. So this could be like a, a kind of a main character energy that you're working on for yourself in um, January of 2024. Okay. So really to, to uh, work on the, the lighter side of it is to be supportive. It's to be strategic. It is not to um, automatically jump to that part of you that's like, fuck it, you know, I'm totally disappointed. Um, you know, this is just failure, right? Because what we focus on expands. So if you focus on things being a failure, then you're going to expand into that energy and experience more and more and more. Okay. Now my last card is as always, it's going to be from uh, my daily guidance from the angels. Okay, guys, and then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for being here. There's nothing to worry about. You could have some serious worries in the month of January, but this card says you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. All right, Leo. That's what I have for you for the month of January 2024. Leo, thank you so, so much for listening to this reading. I do hope it resonated for you. If it did, please don't forget, support your girl in 2024. Give it the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that top notification bell. It'll tell you every time I'm uploading. All right. Peace, two fingers. I wish you guys all the best. Happiness, joy, and prosperity in 2024. Bye.